is the really unique to look at. Today we're going to take a look at the Bora uh, adjustable conveyor roller. And basically what this is, it's very similar to those roller stands for outfeed tables and infeed tables, only it is a conveyor belt that you can adjust height-wise and shape-wise. You can bend it into half circles. If you've got multiple ones, you can stretch them out. But let's get into the meats and potatoes of this and talk about it. Uh, this is, like I said, the adjustable roller stand. And it adjusts from 14 and 3 quarter inches when it's completely collapsed up to 50 inches wide or long when you extend it. Um, the height can be adjusted on this as well. From 23 inches to a full of 36 is where I've got it at right now. And to adjust the height, there are down here, there are some thumb screws, um, which you unscrew those and the legs will come up and down. Um, it's very simple. Uh, the best way to adjust it that I've found is you put it on its side and then you can adjust it because on the side here are markers that uh, make sure that you're staying equal on both sides. Um, that way you'll make sure that it's level in respect to the other side and side to side. Or if you want to give it a slight lean, you can do that as well. The casters down here lock, which is really nice because when you use this as an outfeed table, if the end of it catches it just a little bit, it can move it if it's not latched down in place, but if you've got them locked in, it stays put. I actually did that. And once it catches the roller, unless it's on the set bottom half, it'll roll up on top of it and keep going down the, the series of them. Um, these can be set in pairs as well. On one end, you have these hooks, which if you hook them into another set, on the other end are some nuts and bolts for those hooks to latch onto. So you can put several of these together if you've got a big production run. Now I got these, got this, because I'd been doing some heavier work going through my thickness planer and eventually I'm gonna be going through my uh, drum sander. And the single rollers don't seem to work well. Um, it, it can be a hassle, all of a sudden it's going through the outfeed side, it hits it, knocks it over, or it's not supported enough. And then you'll end up with a big snipe at the other end. So I got tired of fighting it and because I do a lot of the work myself down here so this actually acts as a separate set of hands. Um, I did quite a bit of work with a thickness planer and this beam, this cherry beam, which is quite heavy uh, just recently, and it worked fantastic. Uh, pretty soon, I have to take that same beam and I'll be running it through my drum sander, which of course, once I get this set down to the right height, will allow me to support that the whole way through once it gets on the outfeed table side. It will just continue to go with these rollers. I can go pick it up in my time, bring it back and start it over. So that is nice. Um, these are weighted at seven, or excuse me, 49 pounds, but it wheels really well, really well on any surface. And I don't think it's quite 50, 49 pounds. It doesn't feel that heavy to me. Uh, the price point on this is like 299. So at first I was thinking that was, boy, that's quite high, but for what it does, and if you look at those regular roller stands, you're looking at least $20 a piece on the single roller stands, and you have nine rollers on this system. So you're getting up there and uh, with the extra hardware, and it's built very well. Um, I've got no complaints on this at all. It adjusts really easy, moves around. It, I wish I would have gotten one of these a long time ago because working by yourself in the shop, you can get yourself in problems and wreck your work pieces really quick. And quite honestly, I haven't seen anybody else put out or review or talk about anything remotely similar to this. Um, as I said, this is the Bora adjustable conveyor roller. And uh, take a look at it if it's something that could help you out in the shop. Hopefully it interests you. And until next time, I'm John. Talk to you later. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.